Civil 3D's Create Corridor dialog box makes it easy to define corridors from an alignment, profile, and assembly. That said, after the initial creation, additional components like surfaces, boundaries, slope patterns, and frequencies are almost always added to a corridor model. The process then repeats with each new corridor. Wouldn't it be nice if these additional components were treated like properties that could easily be copied from one corridor to another? Fortunately, Civil 3D 2022.1 makes this possible with a brand new feature called Corridor Templates. Let's take a look. On my screen is a drawing containing a sample corridor model. If I hover, we can see it's called First Street. At first glance, it's easy to see this corridor includes a surface as well as some slope patterns in the cut and fill areas. Just for a second, I'm going to select this, and from the contextual ribbon, I'll click to open up the corridor properties. If I select the Surfaces tab, we can see there are actually two surfaces, one representing the top and another representing the datum. I'll expand these quickly to show the links used and some of the settings. On the Boundaries tab, we'll find the boundaries used for the surfaces. In this example, both surfaces utilize the corridor limits as the outer boundary. Finally, I'll select the Slope Patterns tab. Here we can see where slope patterns have been applied between selected pairs of corridor feature lines. In this example, the patterns are being applied to the daylight areas. When I'm finished reviewing the properties, I'll click to close the dialog box. Let's assume the properties we just looked at are typical for many of the corridor models I create. If I simply save this drawing, I can extract the properties from this corridor and apply them to corridors in any other drawing. If you look up here, you can see this drawing has already been saved, and it's called Corridor Example. At this point, I'm going to click the X and close this drawing. Here, I have another drawing called New Corridor. In this drawing, I have a proposed alignment called Maple Avenue, an existing ground surface called EG. To the right, you can see an existing and proposed profile for Maple Avenue and a typical assembly. So I have everything I need to build my initial corridor model. Let's do that. From the Home tab, I'll open the Corridor menu and choose Corridor. We'll call the corridor Maple Avenue. For the baseline, I'll choose the Maple Avenue Alignment and the Maple Avenue Finished Grade Profile. I'll choose the Maple Avenue Assembly. I'd like the daylights in the assembly to target the EG surface. And for now, I'm going to hold off on setting baseline and region parameters. OK, so nothing new so far. Now take a look at the Corridor Template option. This feature is new in Civil 3D 2022.1, and it allows us to extract properties from an existing corridor and assign them to a new one. I'll start by clicking the Open button. This brings up the Apply Corridor Template dialog box. From here, I'll click Browse, and I'll navigate to the file containing my desired corridor. This file is considered a corridor template. Note that corridor templates can have a DWT or DWG extension. For this example, I'll choose DWG and I'll select the corridor example drawing we looked at just a moment ago. I will then click Open. For the source corridor, I'll choose First Street. This happens to be the only corridor in the file. After selecting the corridor, I can then use the toggles below to extract desired properties. This includes surface definitions and boundaries, any defined slope patterns, and the code set style. For this example, I'm going to keep everything selected and I'll click OK and OK. And not only do I have a brand new corridor, this corridor already has two surfaces defined and the appropriate slope patterns assigned to the daylights. Just for a second, I'll select the new corridor, and from the contextual ribbon, I'll choose Corridor Properties. From here, I'll choose the Feature Lines tab, and we can see that this corridor was assigned the same code set style as the first street corridor we selected. If I select the Surfaces tab, we'll find a pair of surfaces created using the same settings and styles as First Street. Those surfaces also have the same boundary settings. Finally, if I select the Slope Patterns tab, we'll find this corridor leverages the same feature lines and pattern styles as First Street. When finished reviewing the corridor properties, I'll click the X to close the dialog box. As you can see, the new corridor template feature allows us to take the work that was done on one corridor and apply it to any future corridor. After seeing this feature, you may be wondering if it's possible to apply a corridor template to an existing corridor. And the answer is, yes, you can. I'm going to pan the drawing up, and here we can see another corridor model called Oak Lane. And as long as I'm hovering, notice this corridor model uses a code set style called Autodesk Working. That working style is what allows us to see all of these assembly insertions. For this corridor, I need to define a top and datum surface using the same properties as the first straight corridor. Once again, we'll use the Corridor Template feature. I'm going to select the corridor and right-click, 
and choose Apply Corridor Template from the menu. Note the command can also be found up here in the contextual ribbon. I'll choose Browse, and I'll select the drawing containing the First Street Corridor, and I'll click Open. Once again, First Street is the only corridor in this file. For this example, I'm only interested in the two surface definitions, so I'll deselect the slope patterns, and I'd like to keep my current code set style, so I'll choose not to use the one from First Street, and I'll click OK. And I immediately have two new surfaces. If I select the Corridor Surfaces button in the contextual ribbon, we can see the surfaces, and if I expand these, we'll find they're defined using the same settings and styles as the First Street Corridor. One thing I should mention about styles. The Corridor Template feature simply matches settings. It doesn't import anything. It assumes the receiving drawing already includes the styles referenced in the Corridor Template. If the receiving drawing does not include the necessary styles to match to, Civil 3D will display a warning regarding the missing styles. All right, let's close the dialog box and we'll look at one more thing. Notice that I have a tighter frequency in both the horizontal and vertical curves of the Oak Lane Corridor. Just for a second, let's pan up to the Maple Avenue Corridor. I'll select it and change its code set style to working so we can see the assembly insertions. I'd like to use the same frequency settings in this corridor as I'm using in the corridor below. Civil 3D 2022.1 now makes it possible to copy region parameters from one corridor to another. Let's try that. I'm going to select the Modify Ribbon tab. I'd like to modify a corridor, and I'll choose Match Parameters. I will then select the Oak Lane Corridor. Next, I'm asked to select a region. In this example, Oak Lane represents a single region, so I'll click in the middle to select it. Now look at the command line. There's a new option called Select Region Parameters. Using this dialog box, I can choose the specific parameters I'd like to match. In prior versions of Civil 3D, this was an all-or-nothing proposition. Since I'm interested in matching the frequency only, I will deselect all of the other items. If you've never used this feature before, be sure to come back and take a closer look at these other options. I will then click OK, and at the Destination Regions prompt, I'm going to click inside the Maple Avenue Corridor, which is also a single region, and press Enter. If I zoom in on Maple Avenue, we can see the assembly frequency is tightened up to match the frequency settings from Oak Lane. Finally, I'll select the Maple Avenue Corridor and we'll set its code set style back to the original setting. Civil 3D 2022.1 allows us to automate even more of the corridor creation and editing process. Using the new corridor templates and the enhanced Match Parameters feature, the manual effort and definitions assigned to one corridor model can easily be applied to any other.